Hey, what's up my Ruby Roman Graves? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and for those of you who are curious, I am totally continuing our Expensive Fruit series. Now in 2016, a 26 bunch of these grapes sold for $11,000, which is like absolutely nuts. Now, I say this to put y'all in a good mood because I'm about to make a very contentious statement on the daily grind, which of course is, I like Railjack and I'm prepared to give you my reasons why, but before I do, I am going to start out with a little bit of a cons list because I don't want you guys to think that I'm white knighting this whole situation. There's definitely a lot that is wrong with Railjack and lots of things that I think need to change. The first one being the fact that there is only like one meta in Railjack. Let's be real. We use Void Hole on our ships, we go out there with Amishas, and we use a handful of weapons both on the ship and in our arc wings. And I kind of think that makes the whole situation stale. Like, if we look at it, there are several really interesting abilities that the Railjacks have, and there's potential for different builds there. However, the numbers are not quite right, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'd love kind of like a CC Void Hole kind of build. I'd love another like more elusive build that focuses on ramming things and maybe tossing out countermeasures so that enemies can't hit you with their tracking, um, you know, bullets or whatever the hell they've got going on, and maybe something that's a little bit more just direct damaging, you know? I wish that there were more avenues that we could take when it came to our Railjacks because right now the play, while it is fun, can get a bit stale because we don't have that variety. And same thing goes for the intrinsics that would kind of employ that. You know, it's kind of like, all right, well, maybe we all use very, very similar builds at the very beginning, but as we go down deeper into our intrinsic trees, those will open up different options for us to really make our railjacks like more unique and play a little bit differently than other people's, right? Just give us some variation in that. Same thing goes for the arc wings. Now I know that there is going to be a rework that is coming soon for that, um, which I think that a lot of people are more scared for than excited for, if I'm going to be honest with you. But right now we can only really use the Amisha and a couple of weapons out there. And I think that they made a big faux pas in making arc guns not hit scan. There are some arc guns out there that are hit scan, and let's be real, it's our arc guns are getting resisted a lot out there. There's actually, you know, a little bit of like a defensiveness against them um, when flying. So part of me is like, well, if you're going to give these ships like a lot of defense and a lot of armor against our arc guns, then at least let us have hit scan, something along those lines. So I can't wait to see all of that unfold. But at this point in time, definitely one of the biggest issues for me is that there is only one meta. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention is the fact that it gets exponentially more irritating as a solo player. Now, I say irritating because I don't think that it's impossible to solo this. In fact, I think that if you're really, really good and have a great setup for it, you'll be fine and dandy. However, if one thing goes wrong, <laughs> When you are soloing with this, it can kind of snowball. You're like, okay, now I got to deal with this. Now I got to deal with that. Now I got to put out these fires. Now I got to make sure that there's energy for this because I have to use the void cloak. It, like, it can get really irritating. It's not impossible. It just kind of grates on my nerves a little bit when we jump into the solo variation of it. Um, the next thing that I wanted to address, and a lot of people are saying this, is it's just another grind island. And at this point in time, because it is fresh and new, that really is all it is. Now, if they manage to expand on it and bring it out into a whole other world, it's just the start of a grind, right? But at this point in time, it's very much like Fortuna, and it's very much like, um, what is it called? Cetus. Both of them are just kind of like, when you jump into it, you start from scratch, and their effects don't really ripple out into the rest of the game. It's just this single, solitary island. Now, who knows in the future, you know, DE might find more ways to kind of like expand it and let it touch in different areas. But right now, it's just all in its own little spot and you don't really get much benefits from it outside, you know? Like people could play um, all other versions of Warframe and never ever touch Railjack and you'll be fine and dandy. So a part of me is really, really sad, mainly because of the fact that let's just, how do I feel? Like, I feel like 
if people don't play Railjack, there might be a point where they're going to be too far behind to catch up, and then they're going to be discouraged from actually jumping into it. It'll be like, well, you know what? I didn't play it when it first came out because I didn't see any future potential in it, and now that there is future potential in it, I'm too far behind to catch up to that future potential, so I just don't want to do it. So... I don't know. It just breeds its own kind of issues in that specific area. And then the last little bit, which you'll actually see in some of the footage today, is it's still buggy. I know that they managed to iron out a lot of the issues on the first initial launch, but there are more bugs that are popping up, which I'm just kind of like, oh, what is happening? I don't even remember there being a hotfix today that affected this, but when I was playing, literally, you couldn't pick up anything with your railjack. So we actually had to jump out of our ships because, as you guys know, the resources that are out floating in the universe aren't just like, you know, resources that you take home with you. They're actual resources that you need to use to make the ship work, right? We need to get things to give the ship more energy. We need to get the things to give us more munitions and dome charges and so on and so forth. So not being able to pick that up with our ships and having to actually fly around on our arc wings to pick them up um, is kind of irritating. Like, in any other part of the game, I wouldn't give a shit about features like vacuum because literally, I don't need alloy plates in order to c complete my mission. <laughs> However, in Railjack, you actually need copper nicks. You need, um, you know, the cubic diodes and all of that kind of stuff to actually, like, finish in a decent amount of time, right? So part of me was like, what is going on? So the only way I was actually able to pick things up is number one, to fly out and go get it myself, or to literally fly up to it and have my character almost meet it. So it's one of those things where I'm like, what is even happening with this right now? And then as I go out um, to collect everything on my arc wing, when I come back, the, the ports on the ship yeah, it doesn't give you the enter feature. I have actually had to enter it using the gear wheel and the Omni tool to teleport back in. So I was like, what is happening? I thought we were making progress on the bugs and they're just a new one. So do be very aware that the things that I say after this, all the positive things, I still quite enjoy, but I'm not deaf to what you guys are saying, and I'm also not blind to see all of the kind of errors and the, the shittiness that is happening with it. Now, before I jump into why I like Railjack, I do need to stress, I like Railjack. I don't love Railjack, I don't hate Railjack. If I was to rate it in a scale of one to 10 as to my emotional feelings towards it, I'd say it's like a 6.5 resting right? On a good day, maybe like a 7. You could push it up to a 7.5. On a bad day, it can drop down to a 4. But overall, it's like a 6.5 in general for me. So I don't want you to think that I'm singing its praises to high heavens. But the first thing that I really, really enjoy is I actually really like the different roles you can play. Now, for anybody who's been watching the channel for a while, you'll be very aware of the fact that I am an old, like, um, MMO player. So I played in the days of raiding, you know, we had the trifecta, we had DPS, tank, and healer. That's the way that we kind of rolled. And it feels like this kind of forces that interaction again. You have to have a pilot, you have to have a gunner slash border, and you have to have a mechanic. And I don't necessarily hate that. It also really encourages players to speak to each other. Like today, when we were running into these bugs, I was like, yo, we got to go out and we got to fly and pick some stuff up on our arc wings. So it kind of presses us to have a little bit more communication with each other, which in previous videos, we've actually stated, not just for me, but this was actually a commenter that stated it and I brought it to light, was that Warframe often felt like a solo game that you played where occasionally other people would pop into, right? So now you are actually relying on your teammates, which can sometimes be a con in and of itself. But I like the different roles. Like, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm still managing piloting. I don't like the movement combined with the shooting. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite right to me. <clears throat> but I did manage it on stream today when somebody actually DC'd, so you might see some footage of that. And I think that I did halfway decently. I didn't think that I was the worst out there. Um, but to me, it's still not my favorite part. The gunning, after they did the recent changes to all of the different guns, feels a bit better. 
Um, I also really like being able to use the different abilities when I'm in the gunning seats, and I like the option to not board a cruise ship and to be able to shoot them down using the main orbital cannon. Orbital cannon? What is it called? I'm calling it the orbital cannon. But that cannon right up front, the forward artillery. That's the appropriate one. Um, I like that option, and we've had a lot of jokes about shooting into the anus of the ship to get a one-hit kill. Definitely had a ton of fun with that. So for me, I do actually quite like gunning. Is it the best thing ever? No, but it does feel good when you place your void hole just right and you're sucking everything into your hole. Then all of a sudden you shoot into that hole and then everything explodes. It's just... It's just a really good visual. I like it a lot. Um, so next, there's of course boarding ships. You guys know that I've loved Arcwing for a long time, and this is kind of like the Arcwing option for uh, Railjack. You can kind of fly around, do the different aerial combat. Of course, you are limited to one specific Arcwing, which kind of sucks at this point in time, um, but it does make Arcwings relevant, and you guys know that I've been a long time Arcwing supporter. I've been like, yes, please, more Arcwing content to make it better, polish it more, and you know, we're finally gonna get reworks of it, and I hope that they, you know, change some of the mods, improve some of the balancing, because right now it's kind of bleh, but I do like that and it is very action packed and it's a cool way to use the abilities that you're familiar with um, and you know use them in a different way. So I really really like the boarding uh, fact. Uh, next up we have the mechanics which I'm gonna be honest with you is actually my favorite and I don't know if it's my favorite because it's the one that I use the most on stream and I'm actually able to talk to people while I'm doing the mechanics portion but I'm usually a gunner slash mechanic so I'll usually be shooting and then I'll be like all right our energy is looking low, let me go ahead and address that, or ooh, I just saw a ram sled hit the ship, so let me go ahead and address that as well. So that's kind of like the role that I like to play. I like to jump back and forth between those two, but I like being able to manage the energy consumption. I like to be able to, you know, communicate on stream and say, hey, listen, we need more copper nicks, pick up some copper nicks, that kind of stuff to be able to, you know, tell the rest of our team what exactly is going on with the ship and what we need. So for me, I actually really, really like that and I didn't think that I was going to, but I kind of sort of enjoy it. So that's definitely an interesting thing that um, I discovered it myself. And the, the thing that I like the most about this is it's a different way to play the game. I've been playing Warframe for, I don't know, 58 years now. That's what it feels like, to be honest with you. And this is a different way to play it, which I actually don't mind. It's it's mixing it up. Like, like I said earlier, I played a lot of MMOs, um, and I tended to always play the Assassin class. I was always, you know, behind my enemies, giving them a nice little poke, 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 right? I was always there dealing a lot of damage, um, doing a lot of, like, debuffing and that kind of stuff when it came to melee. However, like halfway through that, I actually swapped over to do healing. And I found it really refreshing. And it really kind of like made me um, made me look at the game in a different way. I was, instead of trying to deal the most damage, I was trying to cure, I was trying to keep bars full, is what really my mini game was. I just got to keep all the different bars full and make sure that no one dies. So this is really, really a good way for me to experience Warframe in a different way. So I really, really like that. Um, in a different, in a, a different, in addition, one of the other things that I like is it actually requires some teamwork. Um, I come from Warframe way back in the day where you would have like specific like meta groups that you would go into missions in and you would sit there for like hours just playing as a team working together to accomplish a goal. The only thing that I will say right now is I find it really shocking because there are, well, not shocking. I don't think that it's shocking that there are not a lot of people playing it, but I can be sitting there waiting for a group for quite some time. I will be sitting in my ship and I'm like, oh, I kind of don't want to like do the solo, like let's wait. And in a public mission, it can take a while for people to get in. So I just don't really think that there are a lot of people playing it. I could be wrong and maybe, you know, I just have a crazy ping and people can't join because of that. Um, I also like the increase in difficulty. I like it that if I'm in a boarding, if there's a boarding party that is coming aboard the ship, if I'm not playing it safe, if I'm not using CC, I could die. You know, I like a little bit of that risk saying, oh, you got me. You got me with your goddamn slash proc. Like, I do that to you all the time. So, you know, it's a little give and take. I don't mind it. 
Um, so I like that increase in difficulty. And it also... Because, like, a lot of times I'll play the game blindly and I'll just use, like, my melee weapons to, like, cut through things. But I find in there I tend to switch to my, like, secondary, apply statuses, then go crazy with condition overload weapons, right? So it actually engages me in another way. And the other thing that I really, really like about Railjack is we get to fight sentience. Um, we get a new area to be in, you know, a new tile set that we get to experience, but I think that it also opens up avenues to explore different parts of the universe that maybe we've never seen within our system, even potentially leaving our system. Of course, there are hints that this is going to tie into New War, so maybe we'll see more sentient stuff there, and even Planes of Duviri might be a completely different addition that is going to expand upon Railjack. So a part of me is like, I see some future in this. The, the question is, are people going to adopt it? If they don't adopt it, what is Warframe going to do? Are they just going to push it so that you have to do it? Or, like, what's, what's going to go on with the story? Now, when it comes down to DE, I do find that they are very malleable, which can be a good thing and can be a bad thing because of the fact that, you know, Railjack right now is what they're focused on. So what happens if Railjack isn't a hit? Do they just completely abandon it? Well, then that sucks for everybody that's invested in their Railjacks, right? But that could also suck for the dev team if nobody else jumps on board the whole Railjack system. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword, um, but to be completely honest with you, it is fresh, it is different, it is something that I'm enjoying, and like I had stated before when it came to Arkwing, I was a big poo-pooer of Arkwings when they first came out, and then I kind of stand them now, and I still definitely see the air, I don't feel as strongly about Railjack as I do about Arkwing, because I love Arkwing, um, but I like it. I hope more people um, invest in it once they iron out the bugs, uh, once they iron out some of the other issues that come along. Hopefully, Command will draw more people in. As soon as they start delivering more features with Railjack, I think that it might go ahead and capture a little bit more of the audience, including, and this is one of my big things that I have a pet peeve of with DE, and let me know if you want, to, if you want me to make a video about this. Like, I feel like DE is the wish of video games. You see the picture of what it's supposed to be on the website. They show you all this beautiful wonderfulness in the trailers. Tenocon is extremely guilty of that. And then when you receive it, if you ever receive it, keep that in mind because all of your orders come in piecemeal. And when you get it, you're like, this is similar to what was promised. So I guess I can't be mad, but is definitely not what they posted up there. But then again, you know, the argument that everybody likes to make is, well, it was free, right? Telling you, Warframe is basically Wish. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me for now. Let me know how you guys feel about the positive statements that I made towards Railjack. Do you share the same feelings? Is it something that you're willing to consider? Um, when it comes down to the rating scale, where are you on a Railjack on a scale of zero to 10? What part of it are you on? And what features do you think that they need to add in for you to be able to move a little bit higher on that scale? Um, toss all of your feelings down in the comments below. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. But apparently, you know, not resources because you can't pick them up in your railjack. So you'll need to actually touch them with your physical body to bring them in. Regardless, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye